know Janet Bright. If he's injured, Janet had a posterior injury, and I haven't seen the second goal from Santa Silva just on the field, and I don't have an analysis to make. How was the mood of the team? I think we did. Uh, we had a lot of uh, things that we could have won the game with. In the last 10 minutes, we decided to move, go, uh, try with four forwards and nothing. We didn't have uh, anything in front of the goal. And Atlanta with fewer chances and less control of the game. He ends up winning at the end because we were optimists, even coming to the penalties for the all redundance that we've had at the, uh, the field that we have had a time. And the last one was to try to win during the 90. I couldn't hear the question. There is a question. There is something here. I was talking to people because we just lost, but it's not fair, I don't believe, that Orlando without winning can be out of the semifinal. It is good that it gets an opportunity, an opportunity to those people who came, who came from the bottom, and we understand that it is good, or we believe that it's good that the teams that have the most uh, points have the location and double, but it's also true that a team that didn't win at all, that doesn't win, uh, has the possibility of eliminating one that won a game. When do you feel that you lost a little bit of control of the, that the team had and is the result fair no how it should be no i don't believe that we should have lost the game the match and i think that we didn't lose control of the match in the 90 minutes and a few minutes that we confronted well even when the team was going back it they did well we circulated the ball well with a line of five, a line of four. It was a good match. At no point did I believe, perhaps in the 2-2 uh, that we had in uh, the regular season, we could have won the game, but no. But sincerely, I believe that that, 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 that wasn't going to happen, that we had lost the control of the match. If we had lost control of the match, they were, wouldn't have made the changes for Matias and Leo. Because making that type of uh, change with uh, lack of control, that would cause us problems. Pede was very good in the position of central, center position. Uh, I don't think that there is a motive to believe that at any point the uh, rival was above us. In the last game, the 15 minutes before the end, they had the ball. In the beginning, the second half, I'm not convinced that we lost control. Yes, Felipe. Hey. Hey. You're at... Seeing, I'm sorry, I can't hear the question. Look, we have, since this uh, plays the advantage, first, what do you say? We have a lot of hierarchy in the team, a lot of players that have gone through much more difficult situations than this one. And we also have a way of playing that hasn't ever varied, so I don't see a need to uh, emphasize. I, well, I wish we could have won. We didn't do anything strange for the result in the first game or the uh, uh, field that has synthetic uh, and synthetic, and I'm glad of what we did. I'm a bit frustrated with the final result. And we have to try and win the third game third match.
at the end of this, it's two to one. Bright has a, a injury. What happens with Sergio? What's wrong with what happens to Sergio in his absence? Is very important. Is significant for the team, uh, for a starter. Look, when you're missing a player like Bouquet, evidently you feel it. Of course, sincerely, with the development of this match and how they played, Toto Noah and. David, not even uh, from the start. We were very good at the start, at the uh, coming out, and uh, the midfield, uh, the Russian midfielder. I can't remember his name. Biacho and Atiade. We were doing three against two permanently. It would go from uh, midfield and the left and the right to the right, and we were coming up with a lot of very comfortably. And of course, we always have to keep uh, track of the team, but he had a injury because he got hit last game, last match, and that added at the beginning. He uh, had a fever, and so he didn't have a chance. He didn't train at all last week. Today he felt a little bit better, but he needs to recover. And the expectation that we have is that probably we're not going to have Johnny is going to be missing, or perhaps we have him. Tata. What is Inter Miami missing today to close this game? And what do you find in Atlanta that is positive that they have for them to have won? Well, they, what I believe that in, at no point with the changes did they become uh, out of control like us. We were 1-0 at the big first half they came back with the same team they were very secure in their uh, scheme and they never lost order during the game they never lost control during the game and what has been in front of us the team has been throughout the year and what happened in these two matches with atlanta we probably were going to have uh and i have a problem with their effect with their effectiveness it is uh, the aspect that I find that we have failed a little bit, uh, especially for a team that did uh, 80 or 70 some odd goals. It is the team that made the most goals in the regular season. So the calmness is that we're doing this. It seems like a joke that we did eight when we generate so many, but today Atlanta was more effective than us. They came in a lot less. They had fewer chances, but they took advantage. There's a rivalry between uh, Atlanta and Miami. Uh, do you think that the game with four uh, forwards uh, at, the, at the beginning of the game? I'm sorry, I can't really hear the question. The second, yes. The second call uh, was when we had put somebody else in front. Do you think that the start of the team to be able to maintain the goal? We didn't go one go to penalties. We want to finish the game, the match. What I believe is that there's things in the analysis that we'll have to do if they happen during the, uh, the match. Like what we said, like the absence of Busque. Busque. If things happen within the game, the match, we say this, we lost control of the match, we went like this. It didn't happen. It didn't even happen on the goal. We had eight players in the front, yes. So, we didn't put Matias and Leo Campana 
because it was a whim today. We'll be trained that way in a portion or part of this week to be to see how the team would neutralize the rival when we were 4-4-2. And this was thought or a scene if we were losing, not if, while we were uh, tied. But for me, we were so in control, so well in the midfield, and the product of Diego's uh, fatigue and Noah's uh, uh, problem, we had that scene to be able to change, to be able to win the match. And we lost the possibility. You notice that from uh, the fans of Atlanta, you notice this. You know who is uh, uh, who has control of the match. Thank you.